Gone are the days when video editing was a very complex task to do. All right, today we have tools and software that has made the process very, very easy to do. We have softwares like Premiere Pro, we have Filmora, we have CapCut, we have DaVinci Resolve, and what have you. Today we are going to be comparing two of the very best video editing softwares out there. That's CapCut and then Filmora. And then I'm going to help you decide which one is actually best for you, depending on the kind of job you want to do. And then depending on your level of expertise, whether you are a beginner, an expert, or maybe an amateur, depending on whichever level of expertise, you are going to find out which one is best for you. And then in the end of the video, I'm going to share with you my personal preference between the two of the softwares, all right? And I'll start by mentioning that these two softwares have a lot in common, actually, because I personally use these two softwares depending on the kind of work I'm doing. But then today we are going to look at their differences and then we are going to base on those differences to decide which one is actually best for you. And we are going to look at the differences in terms of three categories. We are going to look at their ease of use, uh, that's their user friendliness, we are going to look at their pricing, and then we are going to look at some key features that you should look out for. All right. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Let's start with pricing. Now, Filmora, on one hand, is a paid video editing software, and as such, it comes with a wide range of features and effects, making it suitable for both beginners and professionals to use. And as at the recording of this video, Filmora sells as a subscription for Mac operating system and Windows at $69.99 for a perpetual license, which is in Ghana cities, 947 cities, 50 pesos. All right, so if you are thinking of going in for Filmora, this is its pricing. And looking at CapCut, CapCut on the other hand is a free video editing software, which was initially designed for Android and iOS, and it was tailored towards content creators who wanted to edit and share videos on social media. There is the PC version though, which is still free and comes with all the amazing features you can think of. Even though there is the Pro version, which also comes at a fee, the free version has enough features to get anyone, literally anyone started with video editing. Now to the user friendliness. Filmora offers a very user friendly interface and it's actually good for those who are just starting out with video editing. It's available for Windows and Mac operating system and now available for Android as well. Initially when I, st when I started using Filmora, there wasn't an Android version but as at now there is an Android version for anyone who wants to just edit videos at a go yeah it's available at the google play store and CapCut also has a user-friendly interface but then CapCut is designed for ease of use and speed it allows you to quickly create and share videos on the go without having to spend a lot of time on complex editing and all of those things and CapCut is actually really really good when it comes to editing videos on the go so now to the key features i mentioned earlier Filmora and CapCut do provide a wide range of visual effects. They, do, they both provide transitions and they both have video editing tools. But then they both have certain special features that makes them stand out to each other. All right. The recent version of Filmora comes with an AI co-pilot, the AI text to video generator and an AI audio generator. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine? My personal favorite is the audio visualizer effect that actually syncs or reacts to audio. And I've made a video dedicated specifically to the audio visualizer effect and now you can use it. I think you can check it with the link above. And also, if you are looking to try your hands on the AI text video generator, I also have a video on that which will also be up here for you to check it out. All right. Now, CapCut comes with a wide range of templates, musics, and effects that you can use to create engaging and professional looking videos at a go. But then one thing that I love about, about CapCut, one special feature that I love about CapCut, is not that Filmora doesn't have that, but then CapCut does a better job at it than Filmora, is the auto caption, all right? The auto caption, CapCut's auto caption is actually really, really good. I tried it with Filmora once and then it gave me some crappy something. 
it wasn't really really nice so that's one thing i can say about CapCut. so in case you see any caption or any captions on any of my videos just know that i did that using literally less than i think five clicks in CapCut, and it was auto generated yeah so in conclusion the choice between these two amazing video editing softwares boils down to three things one you have ability that is whether you have the funds to afford a paid software or not two your skill level whether you are a beginner an amateur or an expert and then three your gadget which is basically your pc or if you are using a, a mobile phone if it's an ios or an android all these things are factors to consider that is going to determine wh uh, which of these two softwares you are going to use personally i do use both softwares depending on the type of content i'm working on for reels and some tiktok content i go in for CapCut, and for editing youtube videos or tutorials i go in for filmora i'm hoping by now you know which of these two softwares you are going in for you can drop your decision or your choices in the comment section and let us know why you prefer that particular video editor over the other and don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification as well i'll see you in the next video